Tobago can now boast of a world-class meteorological office. The new facility was officially opened on Tuesday. Construction of the facility began under the People's Partnership Government. Patricia Nicholson has details of the opening ceremony. $53.5 million was spent on what is being described as a world-class facility, the new Met Office in Crown Point, Tobago. Director of the Board of NIPDEC, Mr. Selby Leslie, said the project was completed within budget. I wish to advise that the project was completed without any cost overruns and in fact expenditure under construction was actually $53.5 million which represented a savings of $2.5 million to the government. But the building is more than just your average Met office. It is to function as a disaster relief shelter as it can withstand a category 3 hurricane and a 6.5 magnitude earthquake. Meteorological Supervisor Tobago Christopher Sinclair said in order for meteorologists to meet the current and the future requirements for weather and climate products and services, a modern, well-structured institution with adequate infrastructure is important. Currently, the Tobago office provides a tourism forecast for stakeholders in Tobago. With this new and improved physical infrastructure, we can now look forward towards developing the capacity of the Tobago staff to provide services in other areas of meteorology. And the Chief Secretary over London said not a single cent of THA's money was spent on this new facility and therefore he saw it as a gift to Tobago from the central government. In fact, I am accepting it on behalf of the people of Tobago and I consider it an appropriate retirement gift. The ceremonial ribbon cutting and unveiling of the commemorative plaque was also done. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News.